All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over rank function in Excel and Google Sheets, and also how to do something like dense rank. So I'll go over both Excel and Google Sheets here. Let's get started with Excel here. So if I have these products and their ratings, I might want to have them ranked by highest to lowest rating or something like that. So if I go here and do equals rank, so you'll see there is this rank function and there is this rank.eq function. There's also this rank average AVG function. So three variations. So I'm gonna do rank. And here we have the number we're trying to rank. So I'll go ahead and click on the seven. So we're trying to see within this range of numbers, this seven, uh, what's the rank. So I'm gonna do that comma. And then as a reference, I'm gonna go ahead and select that range of numbers. So if I do this, close parentheses and hit enter, see it says the rank of this number seven is nine. So now if I just go ahead and select this range right here, F4 to make it absolute reference, and just pretty much drag this down to see what we get. You'll see we get the rank of all of these numbers and you can see right here, if we look at these numbers, the highest one we have is 10, which is the first, so as you can see, is one. And the next highest one in this range, if you look, it's gonna be this, nine and a half. And as you can see, it's not two, it says three. Now the reason it says three is because we have more than one 10. So if you look in this list, we have two tens. So because we have two tens, we have duplicates. What it does, it skips two, even though it ranks both of this one, and then it goes to three for the next highest one, so three. So now what it's gonna do after three, if we have more than one nine and a half, which we do, we have two of them, then it's gonna skip the four and it's gonna go to five. See, in this case, see nine would be the next highest number. So we got five. And then for nine, there are no other nines. So if we go to the next one, which is eight and a half, it will be, see, after five, it's six, because there is no duplicate number to basically increase that rank. The same sort of results you're gonna get if you do rank.eq. So I'm gonna take this number, comma, and then within this range of numbers, so I'm gonna do F4, enter and drag it down. And if you look at my results, they're exactly the same. So in addition to this, there's also this rank AVG. And again, we're gonna take the number and then the range of numbers, F4, close parentheses, hit enter. And you'll see that this one is gonna give us a little different results compared to the other two. So because we have more than one 10, see we have a 10 here and we have another 10 here. Let's actually just do some conditional formatting so it's easier to see them. So we'll do a color scale. So you can see we have this 10 and we have this other 10. And as you can see, we got one and a half, which is the average of one and a two because we have the first and second positions in our rank occupied by 10. So between those two positions, we have an average of 1.5. In these functions, there's also a third argument right here. If I do another comma, see, we have the order. So by default, we basically start ranking highest numbers, like one, two, three, like that. But you could also go the other way around. So if I change this to one, which basically is ascending, what's going to happen is that the rank is gonna change. So now, as you can see, number four, which is the lowest number in this list is one, and then it's gonna go the other direction. So I'm gonna undo this. So all of this we can do in Google Sheets exactly the same way. If I go back to Google Sheets, see I do equals rank, and again, there is the rank EQ and rank average, exactly the same functions. We're gonna take the number, comma, and then the data, which is this range of numbers, just like that. We're gonna do F4, 
absolute reference, close parentheses, and drag this down. And as you can see, we get exactly the same results. So again, similar to Excel, it starts from one, then goes to three, and so on. So this is how a rank function works. And then if you wanted to do that last argument, ascending or not, see, we can do one to make it ascending, which will basically flip our results if I do this. I'm going to undo that and go back to this. So that's that. So dense rank would basically just go the way I guess most people would expect it should go. So we would start from one being 10 and then nine and a half being two and then nine being three and so on until we get all of these numbers. Now, unfortunately, there is no dense rank function in Excel or Google Sheets. Now, what I'm going to do before I actually move to dense rank, I'm going to show you one last thing. When you do this rank function, you can also do an array. So instead of taking this one cell and just checking within this range, we could actually just take the whole range like this and check the rank within that range of numbers. So if I hit enter, see, it will basically just spill the array and that would just work out. So the same sort of thing we should be able to do in Google Sheets. It's going to be a little different though. So if we go back and do this range as an array, if I hit enter, let's actually get rid of this one so we get it from highest to lowest. See, it doesn't give us all of them. It just gives us the first one. So to make this work as an array in Google Sheets example, we're going to do control shift enter or command shift enter to basically add this array formula wrapper. And now if I enter, I will get the same sort of result. So there you go. So that's our array doing the same sort of thing. In this case, we have dynamic arrays and Excel figures out that it's an array and it spills it. So now let's get to dense rank. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this function and we'll create something that will get us what we need. So I'm going to take this step by step to explain you exactly how I'm going to get there. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to do this unique function. And unique function will help us just get a unique list. So for example, if I select all of these ratings, which have some duplicates, if I hit enter, See, it will just get us a unique list. So now I could take that and sort this list by adding a sort function around this unique function. And if I hit enter, that should sort our list, as you can see, from lowest number to highest number. Now, if we want to sort it the other way around, from the highest to lowest, so I can simply just add parameters to the sort function. So after this unique function, I'll do a comma. And then we have this sort index, which I'm going to skip. And I'm going to do another comma and there is sort order. So by default, we have ascending. I'm going to change this to descending, which is negative one in case of Excel. Enter, see, we got from highest to lowest. So the reason I do this is that now, if I just search this rating seven in this list, and I find that seven is one, two, three, four, five, six, position number six, then I'm gonna know the rank for that is six. And if I search for nine and a half in this list, it will be the second position, which is basically gonna give us two. So the function we can use to do that search is the function match. So if I go here and do equals match, and search for this rating, seven comma, in this list right here. See this syntax in Excel means because this is a dynamic array, it spills the results. Basically, we take the results of this array. I'm gonna do a comma, and then exact match would be zero. I'm gonna close parentheses and hit enter, and you'll see that number seven has rank six. So that's because one, two, three, four, five, six. Position six in the list. 
So at this point, I could just grab this formula sort function, copy, hit escape, go back to my function and replace this and paste that sort function in there. I am going to make this range absolute with F4, so it stays in place, at least for now. And at this point, if I'd enter and drag this formula down, as you can see, 10 is rank one, nine and a half is rank two, and then we have rank three, four, nine, and so it goes. So this would be similar to dance rank. And what's nice about this is that we can also use arrays here. So instead of doing just C2, I can just select this whole column, just like this, hit enter. Now, this is not working because all of these other formulas are getting on the way. I'm gonna clear all of those. And as you can see, one formula as an array formula works for the whole range, just like that. So we got our dense rank using this combination of match, sort, and unique. And again, if you wanted to rank your numbers the other way, so from lowest to highest, so here we could just change this to ascending order to get from lowest to highest, or that's the default. You could also just remove that. If I hit enter, see now we have the lowest number, one rank, the next lowest number is two, and so it goes. I'm gonna change this to negative one. Just like that. And this we don't really use, so I'm gonna erase that. And that's our final formula to get what we're gonna call dance rank. I'm gonna do the same thing now in Google Sheets, and it's gonna be roughly the same formula with a few differences because sort function doesn't exactly work the same way as it does in Excel. And then also we need array formula wrapper in Google Sheets. Logically, it's gonna be exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna go back and we'll call this dance rank. And I'm gonna clear this. Let's also add conditional formatting in Google Sheets too, so it's easier to see. So I'll do conditional formatting, color scale for our ratings, and I want the highest one to be dark, so I'll just switch this to be white and this to be green. Good enough. So now I'm gonna close this. Let's do that dense rank function. So again, we're gonna start by getting unique list. So equals unique. This is the list we have right there. So if I select that range right there, it should give me a unique list. I hit enter. Then we'll go back and sort this. So again, if you just do regular sort like this, similar to Excel, it will just sort this lowest to highest. We can do a comma and then again, sort column in this case, there's only one column. We're gonna do one comma. And then finally, is this ascending or not? So I want descending, so I'm gonna do false. And you could do true if you want ascending, right? So now you can see I got from 10 to four. So at this point, now I could use this list for that match function, right? So I'm gonna go here and do equals match and take this cell, this rating, comma, and check it in this range right here, comma, and this will be exact match, which is zero again, exactly the same way we did in Excel. Hit enter and see the rank is six for this. Good. Now I'm gonna take this formula, copy it without equal sign, hit escape, go back, select this range we have in the middle and replace it with my formula. And finally, to be able to drag this formula down, I'm gonna select this range and do F4 to make it absolute reference. So at this point, if I take this formula and drag this down, we'll have our dense rank and we should be able to just erase this. And as you can see, this is one, then this is two, and this is three, and it works. So finally, if you wanted this to be an array formula, then I'm gonna clear all of these and replace this C2 with this range right there. And again, if I just hit enter, 
it's not gonna work. However, if I do Control Shift Enter or Command Shift Enter, if you're on a Mac, it's gonna add this array formula wrapper. You could also just type array formula and put this thing in array formula. Same thing, if I hit enter, there it is. We have an array function that gives us this dance rank. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.